Sandy and I are in Antarctica, and we're on a National Geographic expedition, and it was a wonderful trip. You know, and, and what happens is you're on an icebreaker or an ice hardened ship, and we're staying on the ship, and then every morning we go in and we go on an adventure, and you come back in the afternoon, you go on a second adventure. So, so what happens on these adventures is you go on out and you see something. In this case, you see ice and penguins. There's nothing else to see. And then you come back for lunch, and you sit around with people that are on this trip with you, and you talk about what you saw, and then you talk about grandchildren. There aren't, there aren't a lot of other subjects. And then in the afternoon, you go out and you go through another adventure and you come back, and this time we have cocktails. So what do you do? You talk about what you saw and you talk about grandchildren again, okay. Uh, but, but the interesting thing here was about three days into this trip, we found a group of people who weren't coming out with us. They just weren't there. And when I came back from one of our little adventures, I sat down with one of them and I said, we missed you today. You know, how come you didn't go to see this penguin colony because it was kind of unique? And they said, well, we looked out the window this morning when we were supposed to go and we saw a hill. And we didn't feel like we could walk up the hill. They said, look, we're taking this trip a little later than we probably should have. We had to feel like we had enough money to feel secure. And now we've got tons of money and we can't walk up the hill. That's one of the biggest dangers of cliff retirement because what happens is you get older, what you do is half of us ruin our health on the way to getting there because we're trying to accumulate money and get there. And so we don't go to the gym, we don't do those things we're supposed to do. And the danger that we have is we're gonna hit that time period where we can't walk up the hill. And if the luckiest guy in the world, and this is what I want you to think about emulating, you're the luckiest guy in the world too at the end of this thing. And when you look at this thing, the luckiest guy in the world will never, ever let that happen to you. So how do you make sure you can walk up the hill?